What is going on guys? Efren here, I'm back. Hey, what's with all the balloons? It was actually uh, my wife's uh, birthday yesterday, so happy birthday again, Lissies. Uh, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, in preparation for my Via Francigena trip, 2,000 kilometers, 90 days from Canterbury to uh, Rome, the Vatican, today we're going to be talking about stabilizers or gimbals. What is a stabilizer or a gimbal, you may be asking yourself? Well, look at it in action. Ooh. Roll that intro first. All right, guys, so on the subject of gimbals, here is the Sayun Crane 2. I bought this bad boy for the Lost City Trek because I, I was just so tired of having to walk holding my camera, kind of like with a selfie stick, and just the wobbling back and forward. This little guy over here takes care of that. I remember when I used to go to film school in Miami Day, I got certified as a steady cam operator with a big rig and the big cameras, and I could only dream of having something that I could just hold on to with one hand. And this is just amazing, because now I could be blogging and the shot will be completely locked down. I mean, check out these two examples when I was riding on the back of a 4x4, off wheel, on the dirt, first shot, I'm holding the camera, going back and forward like crazy. I mean, doesn't that make you want to throw up a little bit? But then, here's the same shot with a stabilizer. <laughs> but enough about the Sajun Crane 2, because today, we're going to be unboxing the DJI Running S. Just got it, pre-order it the day it was announced. It just arrived on my doorstep. I'm already impressed by it. It does weigh a little bit more than the Crane 2, and that is something that I have to consider because every single ounce matters when you're walking for such long distance. Here they are side by side. Uh, if you want to see a comparison video between these two, it will be coming up shortly. Or if it's already done, here is the link up here. So what's in the box? The first thing you see is the camera case, very sturdy, made out of uh, styrofoam. We have the gimbal, the battery grip, extended grip or the tripod, and an accessory box with Allen wrenches, a hook and loop strap, the camera mounting plate, the focus wheel, a USB power adapter to charge the battery. Very excited to where this uh, new technology is heading. So here's a funny story. As I was setting up the running for the first time, I tried to connect it to the, to the app on my Samsung uh, Note 8, and there was a password on the gimbal which I could not find anywhere. I spent about half an hour looking through all the books, looking online, on the forums, and finally I found this guy that posted it. And in case you go through the same trouble, it is uh, one through eight, the numbers one through eight, and that lets you get in, at least for the first time, and then you can set your own password. And that's about it for today. I will be doing a more in-depth review about the Running S once I get back from the Via Francigena. I mean, I will be walking with this thing, using it every single day for 90 days. So I guess I'll have something to say about it. Uh, guys, remember, the money that I raised on my GoFundMe page is not to buy this kind of equipment. This, I'll buy it on my own because this is kind of like what I do. I'm a freelance photographer. Uh, the money that, that you guys are raising is just to cover my hotel expenses, uh, mostly during France, which there's so little uh, infrastructure for the pilgrims. I will be carrying a backpack, of course, with a tent, and I will be while camping and most, most of the time. But every now and then, you do need to stay at a place, take a shower, recharge all the, the gear. So that's what, I, what I'll be using the, the money for. Guys, don't forget to subscribe if you like the content on this channel. Hit the like button and the bell notification so that you guys get an email every time that I upload one of these videos. Uh, until the next one, see you guys.